Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Rome's Cozy Kitchen. If you don't know who I am, I'm Rome. Some people call me the Space Cowboy. Some people call me a chef. Some people call me Maurice. <laughs> Today we have a very special episode for you. We're gonna be making crepes, little crepe wraps, okay? We're also gonna be talking about rap battles and the history of just rap beefs. Okay, we're talking about Nas, Jay-Z, you know how that ether. We got DJ Academics, Amigos, Joe Budden, that crazy, everyday struggle. Y'all was there, it was crazy. And it's just a simple dish, all right? We got a few lovely ingredients right here. I just wanna, I just wanna get into it, talk about my inspiration. Just, just do it, let's just get into it, I'm here. Disclaimer. Yes, this is a crepe batter that I'm making, all right? When I was doing some research for this dish, I attempted to make tortilla wraps, very large ones. Some of them were successful, some of them weren't, all right? I made this batter for the people, something that y'all can make at home and feel confident about, right? You can eat it warm, you can melt the cheese, you can also make a few, sit them to the side and make that wrap, all right? So yes, we know, we know it's crepes. So the first thing I'm gonna do to get this batter started is I'm gonna add my spinach, my eggs, and my milk, and we're gonna blend that up to make sure that the spinach is completely blended and smooth. But rap beefs, let's talk about it. Nas and Jay-Z, that's the one, that's one of the most, that's one of the beefs I remember most vividly growing up as a kid, where I have five brothers, one sister, all older than me. I got beat up a lot, but it was a lot of love there too. So rumor has it that that beef started like in the 90s, right? Nas didn't pull up to a studio session. Nas was, uh, Jay was like, Nas, I need you to come. I got this hot track, I need you to get on. You know, tensions were rising. Sometimes during 2001, Jay-Z released his classic album, The Blueprint. He dropped Takeover. You guys don't want it with hope. X Nas, he don't want it with hope. No! Uh, me personally, I like that song better than Ether, but you can let me know what you think in the, com in the comments. But he dropped that. And Nas was like, oh man, he went God body on him, okay? And he dropped Ether. And his manuscript just sounds stupid when KRS already made an album called Blueprint. This is a really good song too. Crazy, wow, animosity. People are yelling in the streets. And then a couple years later, they're grown men now, right? They get together probably over brunch, probably over crepes. They're probably like, yo, crepes are like raps. And they're like, yo, remember that rap battle and those beef we had? And they just came together and was like, you know, we grown, maybe we should stop this. And that's the end of that beef. That's, that's how that went. And that was my first ever rap battle that I remember growing up as a youngin, right? Uh, we're gonna start blitzing this up. But if you guys have any rap beefs that you remember, let it, let's just talk about it in the comments, right? Let's keep that, let's get that and keep that dialogue going. Very important. <laughs> So this is exactly what we're looking for. Everything is nice and smooth. Look like a little smoothie, a little milkshake. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add all the rest of our ingredients. We got some AP flour, salt, some olive oil, some black pepper, some Parmesan cheese. And also with this, feel free to like expand on it. You wanna put a little spice in there, paprika, some chili flakes, you know, make it your own. Add a little spice in your life. Also the key, you know, that BP, that baking powder. Put that in there and then we're just gonna i'm gonna give it a little stir with my spatula just to make sure all that is down in there now we're gonna start blending this all right and this is perfect this is what you're looking for right here a nice smooth batter look at that okay i'm gonna let this sit in the fridge for at least 30 minutes to let this rest. Let the gluten do its thing. Let the flour absorb all that liquid. Um, you can do this the night before if you want, if you're gonna make this for your kids. We love the kids. Drink a lot of kids. I'm gonna set this in the fridge and then we're gonna start on the honey mustard. Very simple honey mustard, three ingredients. Maybe four ingredients. I know you're thinking like, wow, really? Tell me more. I will once I put this in the fridge. You guys might not notice about me, but 
I had dreams and other than being a chef, okay? I wanted to be a really famous rapper, but I can't rap, unfortunately. My rap name was gonna be Coco Nibs. Also be my stripper name. So, honey mustard, very simple. It's, you think it's just honey mustard, but no, it's, it's mayonnaise in there, all right? I'm gonna do like one third cup of mayonnaise, right? The good stuff. We got some nice local honey, that clover. We're gonna do about one third cup of that too. But also, ooh, some black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper inside my honey mustard. And then mustard. But yeah, I'm jealous I can't rap. I need a ghostwriter. I need a Quentin Miller. It was written like Nas, but it came from Quentin. And we're gonna add a little salt too. That's it, it's honey mustard. After that, you can add tarragon, you can add parsley, you can add onion powder, garlic powder, whatever you want, but this is just a base recipe for that. You're stirring and you're liking and subscribing to Food 52. That's what you're doing. So now we taste that. I will say more pepper. We're going crazy, a little bit more salt, and some more mustard. That should be perfect right there. All right, now we're gonna put this honey mustard in the fridge, let it chill out, get, mm, let the flavors mellow. We're gonna grab the rest of the ingredients for the, what goes inside the crate. Turkey, cheese, fresh veggies, all that type of stuff. It's gonna be good. It's cocoa nib, all right? Oh, sorry, cocoa nib. Okay, apologies. yeah. All right, cocoa nib. <laughs> some, some hot takes. All right. On some, some famous rap beefs. Mm -hmm. I can't um, talk about my beef, all right? We can talk about, we can't bring that up, all right? The first one is Soldier versus Ice-T. Soldier versus Ice-T. Uh, Ice-T, never heard of him. What the f kind of name is Ice-T anyway? Soldier Boy. A legend, all right? Uh, if it wasn't for Soulja Boy, I wouldn't be in the game right now. But I've heard that Ice-T said something along the lines that Soulja Boy ruined rap with Crank That. Bobby Crank That Soulja Boy, that Superman, that all that me. That's f falsehood. That's unbelievable. I would never do that today. Migos versus Joe Budden is absolutely hilarious. Joe Budden, I don't know if you're gonna pump it up, that guy. Bump, bump. He was on a very successful show I watched every day on Complex called Everyday Struggle. So he goes on there, he hates mumble rap. He hates all the, the young rappers out there doing their thing, right? So he talks crap about Lil Yachty. I want you to know whether you're in a 360 or not. I want you to appreciate the culture that changed your life. Lil Yachty is signed to the same group as Migos. They catch him at the on the red carpet, I think it was for the MTV Award. You say I'm left off bad and booze? What'd you say? You say I'm left off bad and booze? Yeah. I've been covering for so long, I'm glad they succeeded, man. Hey man, you guys are nominated tonight. Have a good show. Was he left off bad and bougie? We don't know. Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? Drake and Mink Mill? Drake? Oh my God, that right there is a classic beef. Drake finished him. Mink Mill was sensitive that Drake had a really close relationship with Nicki Minaj. Bro, you can't do that, all right? That's she's a person, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Can't, can't, can't control her. He's the one who, who started that beef and Drake finished it. Drake? What about 50 Cent versus John Rule? <coughs> mm, kombucha gets you in the back of the throat. Ah. Mm, with that one, honestly, both New Yorkers had hits, all right? John Rule, he's a, he's a singing dude, all right? He ain't can rap. He held down in the early 2000s, all right? I want some answers that Ja Rule might not have right now. I think it's hilarious that 50 Cent is just like bulletproof when it comes to talking crap about people. I like them both as artists, though. It's, they're lit, they're both lit. It's lit! Big and Tupac, man, they was just manipulated. The FBI, CIA, you know the conspiracy. I don't have to get into it, okay? You know, they might have my house tap right now, okay? So, I don't wanna get into that. Next question. 50 Cent and Kanye, did we touch on that at all? Mm-hmm, we could touch on that. I think that was one of the greatest moments in hip hop history. Kanye West and 50 Cent. Okay, let me tell you something, all right? I love Kanye West. I love me too. They went head to head, graduation versus Curtis. 
two great albums. But Kanye was just bringing that sound. Graduation changed the game, all right? I think that was just like a fun, lighthearted, uh, just just like a little rivalry right there. Nothing too crazy. I love that. To me, that's my, I think that's honestly one of my favorite beef battles things, you know? Now, come closer. Come here, listen. Listen to what I gotta say, all right? Now, we've, let me take, no, I'll leave them on. We've made a lot of jokes and, uh, and things about hip hop beefs and battles throughout the history, but hip hop is the best music genre out there. It's the new rock and roll. You, heard, you know who said that. Rap is the new rock and roll. I love hip hop. My brother raps. I'm a retired rapper. That's culture. That came from an oppressed people just trying to express themselves. It changed my life, you know? I love hip hop. Hip hop is safe, I want you to check out my new single, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, all right? Yeah, I make decisions to glow. Ridiculous flow, potential to glow. You know, I, I just do that. Consolidate my readers, line it up, put them together. Anyone that ever let me down, forget them forever. My memory's bad. Remember me, though? My memory's gone. My memory, it limits me home. No tree huggers, cause all the lumber's gone. Bumper Nirvana in Nevada. My favorite word is medulla oblongata. Just doing what I gotta. Is this the end or just the beginning? Am I losing or winning? Is this reality or am I? Pretending that was poetry, huh? <laughs> it's finally time to make crepes. Got our batter here that's rested for about 30 minutes. We got all our kuchumans. We got the cheese, the turkey, the arugula, onion, bell peppers. Also, a nice little ladle right here, right? There's like a cup of some change size of a ladle. Right here, I got a nice non-stick pan. You wanna make this as easy as possible for you guys, all right? We're not using like a crepe stone or whatever it's called. So having a really good non-stick pan that actually makes things not stick, it's a good, always a good way to start. Fat-wise, you can use oil, you can use butter. I'm gonna use some non-stick spray just cause you know, make it a little hack right there. Also, right beside the pan, I have a plate, a little resting spot when the crepes are done cooking, and a little rubber, rubber spatula just to get at the edges, flip it over, etc., etc., cetera, et cetera. So, first thing we're gonna do is preheat this. You don't wanna blast this, you wanna start like medium low heat. Um, I'm gonna lace the pan up with some, with some of that good pan. So I'm not gonna fill this up like super filled. I'm gonna go halfway, right? Cause we want this to be a nice crap. I like to do the wiper motion. Ooh. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna put that batter in there and then you're just gonna go around the world. Like P Diddy said. And you just wanna make sure you're going in an even circle like that. Beautiful. Now we're gonna let this cook. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. Once you start to see a little bit of bubbles on top, you start to see the actual crepe form from the sides. If you're gonna eat this warm, this is the time when you would wanna add your cheese, add your meat and your veggies. Let that set a little bit more, fold it. And that's a little big boy right there, okay? We're just gonna wait, let that cheese melt. So I'm gonna check out this color, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. A little tortilla action. So this is a little bit exposed, but that's fine with me. I'm gonna flip that anyway. That's what we're looking for. That right there. Beautiful. This could feed two five-year-olds or one 28-year-old grown person, okay? Slide that out. Oh. Look at, let me, man, look at this. Look at that cheese right there. Oh, the honey mustard's in the fridge, but I don't know if I can wait. And there you have it. You can eat off the cutting board like it's a plate, all right? And that's what I'm gonna do. You saw what we did, all right? We made that crepe batter. Extra veggies in there. Be healthy, all right? We got to start taking better care of ourselves. Be healthy, y'all. See that? Steaming. The cheese is oozing. Now we got that nice, creamy, 
pungent, poignant honey mustard, right? I'm gonna call it. Okay. We did that. I'm happy you guys could have came along for the ride for these crepe turkey roll-ups. Crepe is a wrap somewhat. If you think about it, it makes sense. Think, all right? If it uses brain blast. Reminisce on, on, on.